Another video from W3Hurt for all your web development needs. Actually, you don't. If there is an error and it can't find the document, you don't want them to have to wait forever to get this error. So we're going to change the timeout time. Now I think three seconds is long enough as it is, so we're going to put three seconds. This is in milliseconds, so we're going to put three thousand. Okay, and then we're going to do success. This is what it's going to do if it is successful. It's going to get the results and it's going to oh we need to add a variable at the top and this is going to be whatever the document returns. So then we can add success there. So now whatever the document returns, it's going to put inside this div ID equals results. So it's going to replace all of this or whatever was in there before with whatever the PHP document returns. So let's quickly make our PHP document. Um, let's put text is equal to underscore post text. Right. And we're going to do echo span style is equal to span let's do text decoration is blink let's do color is equal to red and let's do text decoration underline uh, actually no we can't do that um, let's do font family sans dash serif um, font size equals 200% so this is going to make it quite big and then we're going to put in strip slashes just to make sure that PHP hasn't got any slashes in there and then we're going to put text so that's simple jazz oh, what did we do it as oh shit we did it as jazz my text right so let me just quickly rename that right so now we should have a working script now I've got firebug here and this will show me what's happening so if we do jazz my text you didn't enter a value or the value is smaller than two characters if we put d jazz up my text uh, let's oh that's not good let's do where is that All right let's do input Oh, that's not right. All over the place today. Name is equal to text. Dot val. Actually, I think we can get away with just putting length. Let's try that again. Yeah, there you go. That's right. So let's put in jazzy text. Hmm. Yeah, I did. Jazz up my text. You didn't know about your there. Some two characters. Hmm. That's not right. Maybe, maybe we won't check how long it is because I think that might be causing us a problem. There you go, that's right. 
It should be a capital Q. I knew it was. Alright. Let's try again. There you go. It's jazzed up our text. Now you see what's happened here. Is Firebug extract this. What's it's done. So it's taken all the headers that it's sent. Um, it's taken the variables that it's sent. So it's sent text with the value jazzy text. And it's got the response. So what we've done. So let's refresh this page. Let's do a hard refresh so we can start from the start. So we've taken our text. Let's do Google. Jazz up my text. And it's done that. Now, you'll notice there's a little flicker there. And the reason for this is because we've put in before send, Jazz and get your text, please wait. So what we're going to do is I tend to do this. If I think it, they need to know that it's sending, we're going to do sleep. Um... Let's do one second. Yep. All right. So now if we do it again, jazzing or text, please wait. Google. There you go. So there you go. We've just submitted a form without using, without uh, refreshing the page. So next time I'm going to show you how to do this on different events so for instance check if a username exists so hopefully pop back and watch that one shouldn't be too long until I do it so um, look forward to that one see ya